Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on topic Recipe Management System. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can choose any ID of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am just creating an object of uh, recipe class. This is a, a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package. Click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file and the .form file. This is the file for the interface and this for the code. Uh, this is my panel. I have named my panel as re recipe panel. Uh, this is the text area, this is the text fields and this is the combo box. Uh, these are the J labels and these are the two buttons and the table. Uh, do not forget to add the table under the scroll pane. These I have added from the panel that has provided over here. Uh, okay, let's move on to the code. This is the code. These fields will get automatically added once you design the panel. And uh, uh, this is the uh, line which uh, here I am creating an object of JFrame. And then in the constructor, I am providing this code uh, which is required so that uh, our panel gets displayed whenever you create an object of recipe class. This is the table data method which is uh, used to display the data into the table, J table. Okay, add the listeners of the these buttons, add record and update record, right click over here and click on create listener. So this listener gets added. Now provide the functionality. If the fields are null, so uh, there is no data into the field, then the message will be popped up with uh, please fill all the records to add and uh, if uh, it's not null then uh, this is the query which I'm running. I'm using prepared statement so this syntax is required. Make uh, uh, I'm building the connection through this object connection object and uh, passing my URL the username and the password and then finally uh, adding the data through this uh, set int and set string methods. Set int uh, if the field is of type integer, and if the field is of type string, then using this method set string. And uh, uh, the fields are uh, indexed from 1 to n. So my first field is id. So I'm uh, inputting the uh, value from the text field id, id data to and converting it into integer and setting it in uh, uh, at the index of 1 which is id then similarly name from the text field and uh, combo box uh, item is selected from the method get selected item and uh, then ingredient dot uh, get text for ingredients and then recipe data dot get text for recipe okay then uh, executing the execute update method and popping the message item added successfully and uh, setting all the text to null and then finally uh, this method table data so that the method is uh, so that the data is displayed into the table similarly another button update button I am running just different query for updating uh, data and building the connection running the query through prepare statement method uh, and then executing update and then finally popping message update date successfully and catching an exception if there is any and finally updating it in the table. Okay, this is my mouse listener. So you can create one by going into the table. Okay, right click and then create listener, create a mouse listener. Okay, and uh, I am just setting all the fields in the table to the text fields provided right next to it so you need to first uh, get the model default and in the form of default table model and the rows through this method get selected row so rows are indexed from 1 to 3 and till n and the columns are from 0 to n 
uh, this column shape column is of uh, with the index of zero. So similarly, uh, if the uh, selected row, I am just passing the value selected row and the column number to this method get value add. So I am retrieving the value and setting it to the string value and then finally updating it in the text field respectively id data name recipe uh, and ingredient and this is my table data method to uh, retrieve the data from the database this is the query i am just uh, retrieving the uh, result of the query into the result set and then uh, using this method set model passing the method and uh, the result set this is the method that I have created on my own. This is similar to the method which is available in the dbutils dot result set to table model. You can use that instead of this and uh, catching the exception and uh, then uh, displaying the message into the message dialog box. Okay, this is it. Let's run the program. Okay, I'm adding the data. Okay, I have added the data you can see and uh, now I can add the record okay it's get added and uh, you can view it by clicking on here okay you can update it also let's update one uh, uh, I can okay there was a spelling error so I can update it Okay, let's see if there is uh, updated or not. Okay, it gets updated. Okay, this is it. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to have more interesting project ideas.